Hi there, my name's Cam Kletter, down here at Thorpley Fishery in Surrey today. A venue well known for its big hits of doubles of £20 fish possible in short or day or 24 hour sessions. I've had a walk round and I've decided on Swim 16 today. It's called The Beach and I know there's some features out there that the fish are often caught off. It pays to do all research on venues such as this as there's always a few swims which stand out and if you can get in them, quite often stand you in good stead. Today I'm going to be trying to show you some hints and tips on how to put together big hauls of fish and uh, trying to maximise your possibilities of catching lots of fish during sessions. So I'm going to get this rod out now and then I'm going to show you some. So when you're trying to put together big hits of fish and venues like this, accuracy is absolutely vital. You might get sort of 10, 15 fish come over you at a certain time. If your rods are 15 foot apart and your spawns are even further apart, those fish can just browse around, you might get one bite. What I'm trying to get is double takes or if I've got three rods out, triple takes. So what I've done when I first got into the swim is I've cast my legend rod out, just looped it on to the braid straight through, dragged it back to try and find a smoother area. I found a lovely uh, cleaner area out there, it's about 27 wraps, which is just over 100 yards. I've wrapped that round the wrappers, got that so I know the clip 100%, I've then got the same on my rods. All I have, then I have to do is unloop the lead from my loop on the end of my braid, put the spawn on, and then I know this spawn's at the exact same range as well. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a spawn back out there and then I'll tell you a few more tips. it hits the clip nice and hard every time I know it's at the same distance and I know it's at the same place as well as I'm aiming at one of the big trees on the island out there. At night I'd be able to see that tree as well so I know 100% at night that I'd be hitting the same range as well. And it's really important just to keep those spawns going out there, keep the rods going out there, keep ticking over and build in the swim so that the spot's getting gradually more and more bait on it and the fish are going in more and more looking for it. Okay, so I'm going to run you through my mix that I use for big hit fishing at places like this at Thorpley. Um, I call it a 50-50 mix, so it's got a lot of bottom bait items as well as stuff that's going to create a cloud in the water. So I can use bottom bait rigs and or zigs at the same time so I can work out where the fish are feeding, maximise my chances of getting a bite. What I've got in here to start with is some of the CC Moore Sweet Nut Cloud. It's just dry at the moment, I've added a little bit of hemp juice just to wet it down, but the more water I put in it, the cloudier it's going to get, and you'll see that in a bit. Next to the mix is some crumbed and whole 15ml Pacific Tuna. This is a new boilie from CC Moore, really good bait. The crumbs are going to keep the fish grubbing around at the bottom and the boilies provide a hook bait option. Next in, some trout pellets, these are three mil, same thing, they're just going to keep the fish grubbing around on the bottom. Trout pellets are a great bait for whenever you're using them anyway. And we've got some classic sweet corn, again it's a hook bait option. Fish in these high stock venues really like bright baits like sweet corn and it's always worked for me. I don't put in too much because you might be distracting the fish from which one's your hook bait or not, but just enough to grab their attention. Next in is some hemp. Every spot mix I use has hemp in it. It's just plain, soak it for about 24 hours and then boil it up for about half an hour until it starts to split like this. Next in is a bit of the chilli hemp oil. We're coming into November at the moment so the water's a bit colder but this stuff's really good in that it doesn't congeal too much as it gets colder so I'm just going to add a little bit of this. Creates a slick, help the fish to follow the scent trail in. And then I've got some of the matching Pacific Tuna additive. This stuff absolutely stinks. I'm sure the fish can smell it from miles away, so you only need a little bit. And then the last ingredient is going to help with that slick. It's evaporated milk. I'm going to put a whole can in there. We give it a good mix up. You 
you'll see that's lovely. It's not too wet as I'm going to be introducing it with this bomb. If I was using a spod I might wet it down a bit more but with this bomb the water obviously leaks out the side quite a lot and it will help clog up the mechanism for it stops the spawn opening. I'm going to be doing about three spawns every 10 minutes. It just keeps a bit of smell in the water without putting too much bait out there that might keep the fish preoccupied or over uh, feeding. Um, I will do three every 10 minutes until I start getting bites and then basically top out with three spawns after every fish. If I don't have a bite for sort of another 15-20 minutes, I might put another sort of five or six out just because it might have cleared you out and they've moved on to someone else's patch. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get a few more spawns out now and hopefully there'll be a few more fish to come. So while I've got one of my rods in for a recast, I'm just going to quickly run you through what I use for my big hit fishing. On this session today, I've got Pro XM Mainline. It's an incredibly strong line and I'm fishing at over 100 yards which shows you how brilliant this line is. It's so supple and cast brilliantly. Um, if I was fishing further out I'd go down to a 12 pound pro with a uh, 50 pound shock leader but today the XM is more than capable. It's got a simple lead clip set up with a 4 ounce distance lead on there. I dump the weed, dump the lead if I come into contact with any weed or anything like that and I've got a quick lock swivel in there which is going to allow me to change my rigs. So if I've got a fish in the net I can just take the rig off without having to take it out, unhook it, put it back. I can just quickly, easily take the rig off change it, get the rod back out within a couple of seconds. All I've got over that is a tiny bit of the anti-tangle sleeve just chopped down. The bigger um, anti-tangle sleeves are thinner at the end, they quite often struggle to go over the knot so the little one like that is more than fine. It's £25 ultra skin, I might be catching a few fish on each rig so the £25 is just going to make sure there's no real damage to the rig and it's fine to cast it back out. I've then got a size 6 covert incisor with a bit of shrink tube on it I've just got a shrink tube on there just to help turn the hook over on in the mouth but if I was catching lots of fish I'll just use the covert liner liners it's just much easier than having to boil the kettle and st st uh, steam the shrink tube it's got a ring on the shank just for a bit of movement and the bait on this one is a pink northern special it's really important when you're trying to put together lots of fish that you've got lots of hook bait options so I've got pink, white, orange, yellow, green all sorts of different colours today. It's all about chopping and changing until you find what's working. I'm just putting a tiny little stick on there just to stop the tangles. It's just to make sure it also settles down over the silkweed. So I'm going to get this rod back out and hopefully there'll be a fish to come. So unfortunately today's not gone to plan. I've not put, managed to put any fish in the bank. There's only been one fish out in the last 24 hours so it was a bit of a struggle to start with. But I am really confident these tactics, I've caught loads of fish out here in the past and lengths such as this, such as Brazos 1 and 2 on the linear complex. Hopefully you've picked up a few tips and tricks that you can put into your own fishing. Next time you're out in the bank, you catch a few more. So it's time to head off for us. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video.